Hello everyone, welcome back to my vlog. My name is Phil, if you are new, please do consider subscribing. Every week I put these out, it's like a little taster of what I've been up to in the week, whether that's DJing, interviewing people, seeing friends, cooking, showing you my record collection, any of that stuff. So if that floats your boat, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it at the end. So yes, a very busy weekend, a very busy week last week, as you may have seen from last weekend's vlog. If you missed it, click on the link at the top. I'll link to it at the end of this as well. Um, I've been out to Tesco today to get some food because I'm gonna do a recipe video today. I can't take the credit, it's not my recipe. Can I just say hello to a new subscriber who's the lovely Rob, he messaged me the other day when the last vlog went out on Sunday saying that he'd seen the post on Facebook and he is now a new subscriber. So thank you, um, I'm very appreciative of that. Now if you were watching last week, <clears throat> you would have seen that I went to Record Store Day with my very good friend Chris. We had a really good uh, morning, I was going to say we had a really good few hours but actually it was quite exhausting because the night before I'd been DJing at Circa in Embankment and uh, I probably had... I probably had like three hours sleep and then I had to go and DJ at Two Brewers that night until 4am. So it was a pretty exhausting weekend. But anyway, I picked up a few bargains. I say bargains, they're not actually cheap. Um, but obviously, hopefully, maybe, they're going to be worth something over the next few years because obviously Record Store Day is um, something that supports local independent record stores and their limited editions. But um, let me just go through what I bought. I put a little message on the screen on last week's vlog saying that I would tell you what I bought because I didn't actually go into detail um, about the purchases that I made. So let me just show you this first of all because this is something that was in the window which isn't part of Record Store Day but they reduced it from, I think it was 14 99 it was reduced to 2 99 it's a double CD of ZTT, the German label that um, many of you will be familiar with. Grace Jones, Slave to the Rhythm was part of ZTT, Seal Crazy, 808 State and of course more familiar Frankie Goes to Hollywood who I see are going to be launching Eurovision this year with a special performance. They've got back together for Eurovision, so that's very exciting. But anyway, this is a two CD set, which uh, features all the hits on CD one. CD two, a bit less familiar stuff, um, compiled, I think, curated by Paul Morley. Claudia Bruken from Propaganda is on there. Art of Noise, Kirsty McCall, Sinead O'Connor with a duet that she did with uh, Shane McGowan, track called Haunted, so I bought that. That was the first purchase. More importantly, the vinyl. Now, I had 12 albums on my list, or 12 records on my list, which I whittled down to four, because I found out the price of some of this vinyl, and yeah, obviously they're not cheap for Record Store Day, but anyway, the first one is, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the original. So there we go. So Tori Amos, Little Earthquakes, early 90s album, her second album, well her first solo album, but obviously she did an album uh, before that, which was Why Can't Tori Read? But anyway, this is Little Earthquakes, the B-sides, um, all together on one album, which I think is a 11 track album. Uh, Upside Down, Thoughts, Song for Eric, The Pool, Humpty Dumpty, not a, coloured vinyl this one but it is on standard black vinyl um, nice to have those songs actually on one release obviously it's been released um, before but not on vinyl so it's the first time so um, yeah very pleased with that I think that was 30 quid Alison Goldfarb. Now this was something I wasn't sure about well I was very sure about because I love her and I've loved Goldfarb stuff before but I read online somewhere that this was 30 quid and I thought that was a bit steep for a four track EP. But it's basically um, a remix EP. So the extended mixes of remixes that are gonna be on her forthcoming album, which is coming out, I think, in a few weeks, um, which I've pre-ordered on vinyl. But again, not a special colored vinyl, just your standard, standard black vinyl. Um, but remixes and collaborations with Claptone, Paul Walford, uh, there's a remix by Nina as well on there. Then, 
this was the one that I did not want to miss. Now I've got this original already. I've probably got so many different versions of this, um, whether it's import or the original version that came out in 1982. But reissued, I mean they're calling it 40th anniversary, there's a sticker there. 40th anniversary, but actually it's the 41st because it's uh, 1982 original, this album that came out. Um, a Kiss in the Dream House by Susie and the Banshees, probably my all time favourite band. Now, this is a special coloured vinyl. Um, there's been quite a few people grumbling online on the Susie forums saying that it's not what they thought it was going to be, but it's meant to be gold marble vinyl which actually is transparent. I mean, very nice. Obviously, the label's different to the original version. Um, but if you look at it, it is actually a transparent vinyl with gold flecks. I mean, I kind of like it now. I've warmed to it. I was a bit disappointed when I first opened this up because it didn't look anything like the picture that was advertised. Um, but actually, when you lay it down on the turntable, it does kind of look like marble as opposed to when you're looking through, when the light catches it, when you're seeing it as a transparent vinyl. So, yeah, probably not as good as a lot of people were expecting, but it's just the original album with Melt, Cascade, all the hits are on there, there's a few hits on there. Um, and also, should I say, no lyric sleeve, but this is just the logos or the icons. But you do get a poster, so there is a bonus, which is this poster. So yes, yeah, so I'm glad I snapped that up because I was really uh, concerned because I think I was a bit worried because it was, I think, a thousand copies that were pressed. Um, and obviously they've got a massive following. Um, so yeah, I was relieved. I saw my friend Dave that works at the RVT, the Royal Box Tavern, Dave Cross. He managed to pick his up, and Chris bought this as well. So yeah, I think a lot of happy Susie fans. And also this week, Susie has announced her London date. I've been waiting for weeks, probably months actually, for her to announce this London show. It's at the Troxy, which is where I saw John Carpenter, the horror movie director. Um, he was playing with his band there on Halloween which I think must have been five or six years ago, if not more. But it's an amazing venue, Art Deco venue. I mean, it's perfect for Susie. So yeah, so the tickets go on sale tomorrow, 10 a.m. I'll be there opening five or six browsers, trying to get the tickets. Um, yeah, I think they're only about 60 quid. A lot of people say that's expensive. I don't think that is for someone like Susie. But anyway, um, I'll obviously let you know next week if I manage to get those tickets. I will burn myself with a hot iron if I don't get those tickets, so. Fingers crossed. So the last vinyl I bought, Ex Propaganda. Uh, it used to be called Propaganda, band that um, reunited. Claudia there on the sleeve, who I managed to interview back on Gaydar Radio a few years ago on the phone. Um, so this is uh, another special album release for Record Store Day, Mixes, Moods and Memories. Uh, it's called Ex Strangely. So what it is, is basically um, a remix album of remodeled tracks from the album that came out, was it last year? But anyway, it's, um, yeah, there's quite a few tracks on there. I think there's probably about 14 tracks on there, but they're very short, a lot of them, because they're just um, kind of instrumental mood um, versions of the tracks from the album. A few of them actually are very similar if not the same um, to the to the versions that are on the other album but I'm really glad I bought that so I didn't spend too much money I think the tendency is with record store day because they're special editions and limited um, you just spend a fortune some people have to remortgage their property <laughs> to, to have a day out at record store day so yes I was really pleased with that spend and I think Chris was as well but by the end of it I was so tired, I had to, I had to say to Chris, um, I'm gonna have to go, because I've hit the wall. I need to go home and I need to sleep. And I managed to get two hours sleep on the sofa. I put a movie on, and yeah, I got two hours sleep before two beers on Saturday night. So I think this might be a short vlog this week. Um, there's not a lot going on. I've got 
bit of work at home to do and I've got two DJ gigs this weekend. I've got a DJ gig at Eagle on Friday night, which is Rhythm of the Night, playing 90s and noughties club bangers with Wayne David, who invited me to play. And then on Saturday, I'm doing the Saturday night at the Royal Vauxhall Tavern with Minxy who I think also is trying to get tickets for Susie tomorrow. I'm gonna to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching and thank you if you are a new subscriber. I hope that somehow some of this content is of interest to you and let me know where you're from. Let me know who you are. Let me know how you discovered this channel. Leave a comment down below. Do the usual things like liking the video and yeah, sharing it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Have a good week. Back next Sunday at 11am. Bye for now.